Hello folks, if you have been watching my channel, you know that in the earlier videos I showed you how to use Elasticsearch on an EC2 instance. But the problem with that setup is that you need to start managing your EC2 instance, the patch management, update, high availability, encryption, security and all those things. So the one way to avoid this problem is using Elasticsearch as a service that is provided by Amazon. You get the flexibility of putting your EC2 instances or the domain inside a VPC. It has been natively integrated into your KMS so that you can encrypt the data that is residing in your Elasticsearch domain. You can also have IAM configurations so that your Kibana or your users needing access to your Elasticsearch domain can be access controlled by your IAM also. So these are all the functionality and flexibility. In addition to that, high availability can be easily enabled by just a click of a button. You just mentioned that zone awareness is required. Then Amazon will put your instances in both your availability zones. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up your own Elasticsearch cluster in AWS. Here we are in our AWS dashboard. I'm just going to say Elasticsearch. And here you can see here there's already a domain for flow logs, but let us go ahead and create a new one. And I'm going to call this as ES test domain. And these are the different versions of Elasticsearch available natively. For some reason, if you want to go ahead and choose the older one, you can do that. But I would strongly recommend you to go ahead with the latest version. Let us click next. And how many instances do I want to give here? So you need to give it as even numbers in case if you want to have a zone awareness. Say for example, you want to three nodes, then there will be a problem with that because Amazon will not be able to scale it automatically in both the availability zones. So make it as an even number. Do you want a dedicated master? Then you go ahead and choose the dedicated master. But if you're experimenting it for the first time, you're learning it, you don't have to exactly go ahead with a dedicated master. But production configurations, you would want to do that. Then the storage type, just like with any other EBS volumes, you get a different type of EBS volumes, SSDs, magnetic, and if you want to go with provisioned ones, that's also possible. So for learning purposes, go with the uh, minimum one and then how much data you want. So you can see a simple mathematical calculation is provided here. Let us say 30 here and it says it's the EBS volume into the count. So earlier we gave a count size of two. So our cluster will have a total of 60 GB in space. So do I want to have encryption? All you have to do is just click on this and then your encryption will be enabled. If you have a custom key or if you have a special key that you want to en encrypt your data with, then you can add it in your KMS, watch my video on doing that. And in this drop down, you'll be able to update your ARM and using that encryption key. So let us go ahead and give the, give the default one. And I'm just going to mention the snapshot that is a backup at default times. The advanced section, you don't have to really change anything here. Just click on next. And which VPC do I want to put it? Whether you want your Elasticsearch cluster to be publicly accessible or you want to put it into your private VPC subnet and then have security around it. So in this case, uh, let us go ahead and choose uh, VPC access. So I have chosen the VPC as a default VPC. Go ahead and choose which all subnets you want because we want zone awareness. I'm just going to choose two different subnets. And next is a security group. Go ahead and choose the default security group and IAM will automatically create a service role for you. So you don't have to worry about what roles are required and everything. So if you want to secure your domain, then you can go ahead and choose any of these options. If you want to secure them by IAM, then go ahead and choose this option or if you want to secure them by or deny them based on account numbers or IAM users, then you can choose that or you can have a configuration that is coming from another domain also. So the easiest way to start learning is by uh, doing this, that is you don't want to have uh, any kind of uh, privileges or you don't want to require any kind of uh, uh, permissions and all those things. So for starting, uh, so do not require signing requests. That is anybody within this uh, VPC. If you say, for example, you have another instance which is uh, having internet access through which you can log into your uh, Elasticsearch domain, then do that because within the VPC it is not restricted, but from outside it will be restricted. So click on next and it is summarizing all the fields. Go ahead and click on confirm. 
So um, what Amazon is going to do is it is going to bring up two machines, install the Elasticsearch domain clusters and it is going to configure your Kibana also. The dashboard will be available and everything will be taking a couple of minutes for it to come online. And you can go ahead and check the status of the domain cluster anytime here. So let us give it a couple of minutes for it to come online. Here you can see there the cluster has finally come online. If you want to go ahead and check the cluster health and you can see the number of nodes is two and its status is good. And we can go to the monitoring section also and see the different metrics that Amazon collects by default and you can visualize them. So as of now, my cluster is green. So if you want to go ahead and access your cluster, if you go to overview, you can see here the Kibana URL. So to access the Kibana, we would need a uh, Windows machine or you will need to enable the security group, but that wouldn't be nice to open the security group to the world So let us go ahead and boot up another Windows machine and try to access the Kibana URL Here we are in my Windows machine that was created in the same subnet as my Elasticsearch domain So let us go ahead and put the URL and try to connect to it And if you set up the policy and everything you should be able to connect to it. I'm just going to add it here so here we are as of now remember that our Elasticsearch domain doesn't have any data or any log stash pushing in any data here so it doesn't have any information so if i connect to my vpc flow logs domain now you see here i'm connected to my uh, es domain that we just now created let me go ahead and connect to my other domain where there will be some information so i got the url let me just go ahead and put it here and you can see here i am on the Elasticsearch domain which says search ES flow logs and if I go to my dashboard here there is a security group dashboard that I created and it looks like the URL is pretty big so let us close that error for now but you can see here the information about uh, my security group and my traffic that is coming in are shown here so that is how you create an Elasticsearch domain within your AWS account and configure a Kibana dashboard also and access it if you have any problem in setting it up, go ahead and put them in the comment section. I'll be happy to help them with you. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.